Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Take action to build your masculinity. Had to make sure I had the title right, take action. Now I know this looks a little different from my uh, regular 3 a.m. videos, but let's just say some technical difficulties and the show goes on. <laughs> anyway, I think I burped, my bad. Anyway take action and this is a let me get more serious now um a lot of guys want to know how to build their masculinity and the key to building it really is to simply take action as at a um, self-improvement summit i talked about femininity i talked about masculinity feminine is more passive laid back more peaceful it just stays still the ultimate yin which is femininity, is to stay perfectly still. That it, that's like the iceberg waiting for the sun to rise to melt the ice. It's like that dam waiting for that rush of water to break through. It's like just the ground waiting for a shovel to break through. It's just there. But what on the other side, masculinity is action. It doesn't stay still. It's moving. It's all constantly expanding. It's making things happen. Is action. Anyone who really wants to build their masculinity, you don't need to take like any um, supplements or things of that nature. I mean, it helps, but you got to have the mindset first. Like, let me let me use an example. Okay, I'm always talking about body game, and there's some people who talk about uh, like using some supplements or something, you know, and some legal, some illegal. But the reality is, if in your mind you don't want to take action, well, yeah, you might have that little bit of extra energy uh, going through, but you still got to do something. You still got to do the work. You still got to do it. You still got to take action with it. Because you can take stuff and, I don't know, sit there, get a high or something, whatever, but it's still not action. See, an action could be anything. Action could be, well, let me start with physical action. I'm known for body game. Like when I'm talking about body game, it's more than, you know, just the health. It's more than just the aesthetics. Just in the act, let me say it again, just in the act of taking action to build your body or to lose weight, whatever you need to do, that's masculine. That's action. And it makes a difference because you take, you're not staying, you're not standing still. So you want to build your body. You want to build your body. Just the act of it actually uh, increases your masculinity. And then on another level, on another level, you know, there's always talk about uh, lower testosterone levels in the younger generations. And one of the things no one seemed to be talking about is the younger generations are sitting still more. When we were young, shoot, we had to go outside. We could sit around and watch TV. What we had was three channels. And the, all the good shows only came on on Saturday mornings. <laughs> you know? So we had three channels, maybe maybe two more depending on where you lived. Those UHF channels. <laughs> but we had to go outside and we would spend all day out. It was normal. Just playing. Just playing. Playing sports, tag, whatever. But that was actually, we were taking action. That was actually increasing our testosterone. One of the things the younger generations is doing is just staying still, not taking action. And you know what? It's more than just a physical thing. It's a mental thing. It's a mental thing. Like if you sit and you you making a plan for the future, that's actually active. Or if you speak up in a bad situation, just speak up. That's actually being masculine. That's one of the things, like you, you see something happening, you say, oh no, that's not gonna happen. You don't have to do anything physical. All you did was stand up and say, no, that's not gonna be allowed. That's masculine. It's just taking action. Like, and I've said it before, I don't care who I offend when I say this, because I've said it several times. One of the things I don't like doing uh, on these YouTube streets, and y'all know I don't be on a lot of panels. Oh, it's rare. Usually if I'm on somebody else's platform, it's a one-on-one -on -one interview. It's very rare. It's a panel thing because I don't like complaining. Now, if we actually saying we're going to sit there and talk about how to improve the situation, okay, that's taking action. 
but otherwise sitting there, that's, that's female. In fact, let me get into that. Think about something with women. Women by nature will sit around and talk about a problem and talk about it and talk about it. A man by nature wants to fix the problem. In fact, it's interesting that sometimes I've heard many women complain. They say, well, I just want to talk. It's like a man is like, no, you do this to fix it. And ultimately, a woman, if she got any sense, no, you know what? That's just a man's nature to want to fix it because that's active. Anything you do that's active, that's going to build it. And see, here's the thing. Somebody, I know somebody is still saying, well, what about these treatments and all of that? Here's the thing. Here's how the man's body is built. When he takes action, when he takes action, particularly physical action, he calls for more energy. He actually calls for testosterone. And it's like, it's a, it's a continuous circle. You take action, you have something to do, your body will actually respond. But you got to take the action. But you, and b before taking action, you got to have the mindset. You know? You got to be willing to stand up to something, whether it's physical or mental. You know, I'm known for talking about sovereignty. If you take an action to become sovereign, that's masculine. That's it. Seriously. It's not like I know a lot of people, a lot of entities uh, for and against it try to say, no, nah, this is masculine. Yeah. You know, the, you got some people calling like really just basic masculinity toxic, but they got some against it. But whatever the case, however you see it. And let me let me say something about that real quick. This is kind of a deep thought thing. Uh, everything is relative. A fox in a hen house is good for the fox, bad for the hen. The fox kicked out of that uh, hen house is bad for the fox and good for the hen. I want you to think about that. Just think. Just think about that. But and that's, relate that to somebody calling some masculinity toxic. See, let me jump on that real quick. Somebody will call it toxic until uh, somebody needs somebody to defend them physically. You want that peaceful cooperative dude until it's, kind of, it's time to like uh, kick ass. That's why I say, you know what, just be that man. And speaking of kick your ass, sometimes that masculinity means you actually got to physically fight. Are you prepared to do that? And sometimes just standing up for yourself, that brings out your masculinity, even physically. Even if the other side whips your ass, hey, let them know they've been in a fight. That brings it out. Just take an action, period. Like if you know you got to get a job, are you just going to sit around or you need money? You going to sit around? Or you want to take action and do what you need to do to get that money. I want y'all to think about that. But the key word, no matter what, is action. Every moment, every time you build, you take action. That builds your masculinity. Every time you stand up, when it's time to stand up. Even if you're sitting down and trying to figure out something, that's still masculine. You can still have a masculine mind. Every single time. There ain't no magic to it. You don't have to spend some great money on some dubious products. You don't have to. You don't have to. Just take action. All right? So, that's all I have for today, y'all. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.